What if we could create a sun on Earth? That's exactly what China's experimental device, the East, aims to do. The natural sun is the ultimate source of energy, but it's not the only one. The East is a new contender in the search for clean, sustainable energy. With temperatures up to 150 million degrees Celsius, the East makes the sun's core look like a walk in the park. As we confront the urgent challenge of climate change, it is clear that we need to embrace new forms of clean energy, and nuclear fusion could be a key part of the solution. Could the East be the key to unlocking a future without fossil fuels and greenhouse gas emissions? The answer is in the stars. Hello, and welcome to our program. Today, we will be discussing China's artificial sun, the East, and how it works. The East is an experimental device that aims to replicate the conditions of the natural sun's core to research nuclear fusion as a potential source of clean energy. But first, let's take a look at the natural sun. The natural sun is the star at the center of our solar system, and it is essential for sustaining life on Earth. It is a massive ball of gas, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, and is constantly undergoing a process called nuclear fusion, which releases an enormous amount of energy. The sun's core has a temperature of around 15 million degrees Celsius, and a pressure 340 billion times greater than Earth's atmosphere. The natural sun generates energy through nuclear fusion where two atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus, releasing energy in the process. In the sun's core, hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, and the energy released from this reaction is what powers the sun. Now let's talk about how the East works. The East, Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, is a magnetic confinement device that replicates the conditions of the natural sun's core to research nuclear fusion, let me explain how it works in more detail. Nuclear fusion is the process of combining two atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus, which releases energy. However, this process requires extremely high temperatures and pressures to overcome the electrostatic repulsion between the positively charged nuclei. In the East, plasma, a gas-like state of matter made up of charged particles, is used as a fuel for nuclear fusion. The plasma is confined and compressed by a powerful magnetic field generated by superconducting coils to reach the extreme temperatures required for nuclear fusion to occur. The plasma is heated by injecting high-energy particles or by radio frequency waves. The magnetic confinement device is designed to keep the plasma from touching the walls of the tokamak. As it would cool and lose energy, the East is an experimental device, and its primary goal is to test the feasibility of nuclear fusion. As a source of clean energy, researchers hope to learn more about the behavior of plasma, magnetic fields, and the conditions required for efficient nuclear fusion. By studying the behavior of plasma in East, scientists can better understand how to design future nuclear fusion reactors that are more efficient and commercially viable. To maintain the high temperatures required for fusion, EAST also employs a heating system that can generate temperatures up to 150 million degrees Celsius. The heating is done by injecting microwaves and radio waves into the plasma, which heats the particles by causing them to oscillate at high frequencies. Once the plasma reaches the temperatures and pressures required for nuclear fusion, the atomic nuclei in the plasma start to combine and release energy. The energy is released in the form of high-energy particles, such as neutrons, which can be captured and converted into electricity. Now let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of this interesting artificial sun. The East has the potential to become a major source of clean energy if nuclear fusion can be harnessed efficiently. One of the biggest advantages of nuclear fusion is that it produces almost no greenhouse gases or other harmful emissions. However, there are also some disadvantages to nuclear fusion. The process requires significant amounts of energy to create the extreme conditions required for nuclear fusion. And the equipment required to produce nuclear fusion is complex and expensive. Additionally, nuclear fusion produces high-energy neutrons, which can damage the materials used in the reactor. In conclusion, China's artificial sun, the East, is an experimental device 
that aims to research the potential of nuclear fusion as a source of clean energy. While the natural sun provides us with the energy necessary to sustain life on Earth, the East could provide us with an almost unlimited source of clean energy. However, significant research and development are still needed to make nuclear fusion a commercially viable energy source. Thank you for that insightful analysis of China's artificial sun and nuclear fusion technology. It's clear that this technology has enormous potential for transforming the energy industry and reducing our reliance on non-renewable resources. However, as I mentioned, there are also significant challenges to overcome. And further research is necessary to make this technology commercially viable. Nonetheless, with continued investment and innovation, nuclear fusion may one day provide a sustainable and nearly limitless source of clean energy for the world. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you've gained a deeper understanding of this exciting topic.